I learned a song about rain I thought I would share with you. It's a great song to sing when you're stuck indoors, listening to the sound of rain pitter-patter on your roof. It's also a lot of fun if you can get outside and run through the puddles while you sing. I like this song because it also highlights the body parts. And we're going to start on your head. Do you remember where your head is? Where is your head? Where? Where's your head? Oh! Oh, that's right! Up here, right? Attached to our neck. Here's our head. So we're going to start up here, and the name of this song is called Drip Drop Rain. Drip drop rain on my head, drip drop rain on my head, rain falls on the ground. Drip drop rain on my head, drip drop rain on my shoulders, drip drop rain on my shoulders, rain falls on the ground. Drip drop rain on my shoulders, drip drop rain on my tummy. Drip drop rain on my tummy, rain falls on the ground. Drip drop rain on my tummy, drip drop rain on my toes. Drip drop rain on my toes, rain falls on the ground. Drip drop rain on my toes. That's a silly little song. And I love how we start on our head and go all the way down to our toes. Parents, you don't have to stick with the body parts that I mentioned. You could add in whatever body parts you want. Drip drop rain on your nose. Drip drop rain on your tongue. Drip drop rain on your elbows. This is another great song to sing while you're in the bathtub. Take some of that water and drip drop rain it on your head. Drip drop rain it on your knees. Drip drop rain it on your hands. What body parts would you drip drop rain on? It's been raining a lot off and on lately, so I thought I could share a book about rain. One of my favorite books is called Rain by Robert Kalin, illustrated by Dan Cruz. And I love it because of its simple illustrations and its simple text. It's a really great book. I am not so lucky to have a copy of it at my house, so I thought I could recreate it with a flannel board. Thank you, Scholastic, for letting me do my rendition of Rain by Robert Kalin. I hope you all enjoy. We start with a blue sky, a bright blue sky, and out pops the sun, a yellow sun. Also up in the sky with the sun are clouds. We have white, puffy clouds. How many clouds do you see up here? Will you count with me? One, two, three, four. Four white clouds. I love to lay outside in the grass and look up at the sky and see all the different shapes in the clouds. When I look at this, I see an upside down boot, the head to a dragon. What do you see? Next comes the gray clouds. Look at these gray clouds. How many gray clouds do we see? One, two. Do we have more gray clouds or more white clouds? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four white clouds. And we have one, two, gray clouds. So four white clouds is more than two gray clouds. But look at this. These gray clouds, are they bigger or smaller than the white clouds? That's right, they're bigger. These gray clouds can cover up these white clouds. No more white clouds. All the gray clouds come and they take over everything and there is no more sun. And now the sky turns gray. Oh, now what happens when the sky gets all gray like that? What do you think might come? That's right, the rain. 
You can hear it pitter patter on your roof. We have one raindrop, two raindrops, three, four, five, and once it starts to rain, it just keeps coming. Sometimes it goes really slow. Sometimes it goes really fast. When the rain comes, it rains on everything. It rains on the grass. What color is this grass? That's right, green grass. It rains on the green grass and it rains on the road. What color is this road? That's right, black and yellow. It rains on the black and yellow road. And what's on that road? What goes on roads? That's right, cars and trucks, right? And I've got a car right here. What color is that car? It's a red car. Good job. Well, it rains on the green grass, and it rains on the black road, and it rains on the red car, and then it rains on the flowers. I've got two flowers here. Can you tell me what color those flowers are? That's right. They're two colors, right? They're orange and yellow. So we have two flowers there. Well, it doesn't stop raining. It continues to rain, and it rains on the brown fence. And do you know what's along the bottom of that brown fence? There's more flowers. I have two more flowers. Let's put them up here. Can you tell me what color these flowers are? That's right, they're purple and white. And now we have even more flowers. So how many flowers do we have up here? Can you help me count? We have one, two, three, Four, four flowers. We have two orange plus two purple equals four flowers. I love looking at those flowers and it continues to rain on them, but it also rains on the white house and it rains on the green trees. Look at all that rain. Look at all those things it's raining on. Well, it continues to rain, and it continues to rain, and then all of a sudden, the sun comes out, and there appears a rainbow. I hope you enjoyed that rendition of Rain by Robert Kalin and Dan Cruz. It's a great time to take our kids outside right now and explore the world around them. When it rains, talk to them about how many clouds are in the sky. What's the difference between the clouds when it's raining and the clouds when it's not raining? Can you go outside and look at the different clouds and see the different shapes and the different sizes? When it rains, can you talk about the sound of the rain or what are the smells associated with rain? Personally, I love the smell after a rain. I love to smell that dirt. I love to smell that grass and those trees and those flowers. Identify the flowers. Now is a great time to connect with our kids indoors and outdoors. I hope you all have a great day. Enjoy the rain.